You make money through your soul. You make a decision to be broke through your soul. Your flesh marries a wife on behalf of the soul. And when the soul changes its mind, it doesn't matter the wife is still the same. The flesh is no longer interested as well. How do you remain attractive to the soul of your husband? The best thing that the wife can do is to change every time the soul changes. So that she keeps on following and becoming the best choice. Let me explain something to you. When you are a wife today and you got married to a man that is broke and you're telling him that I love you the way you are. There is coming a time when the man will realize that this is not a good life. You will start pursuing success. And at that point, if you maintain the same confession, you are fighting against his success. Which means suddenly when his soul begins to pursue for greener pastures, for you to remain the most immediate and the most important person in his life, you also have to be converted so that you can also then be chosen at that particular moment of change. I'm saying this because I've seen most people, even in ministry, having problems. That's why most pastors, they are, they are having endless problems in their ministries. Especially if one begins to climb the ladder when God begins to anoint you and part of that anointing does not fall either on your husband and you are the wife that is in ministry or on your wife because you are the man that is in ministry and God begins to raise you from one level because when you got married, you were down here. You loved each other according to this level and when you move up to this level, and your wife is left at that level. It means over here you are not married, but over there you have a wife. You see? Now, at this level, you begin to interact with other wives who belong to this level. And when God moves you to another level, the more God promotes you, the further away your wife is. Which is now becoming your problem, some of you. You have got some of the stress that you have from your workplace, but you can't even share that with a wife that is not present at your level. Please be seated. Let me show you something. I'm talking about there are issues that you can discuss as families that we have got some problems in this family. Things are not right and so on. Family matters at this level. But when you begin to talk about business, you don't discuss that with your husband or with your wife. Because whilst you are here at the business level, there is no marriage. No one married you at that level. And you begin to have problems. So what the wife should have done was to also follow you at this level and become the first choice. So that your soul can choose here again. And then when you are elevated to another level again, she follows you there. And when you look around, you still find her at that level. So if it means that you have to begin to study success, study success so that you can be chosen by your husband when he gets to the level of success.